Camp's kind of over now. Uh, how you feel like it went for you and defensive defensive tackles as a whole? Uh, as a whole, I feel like since day one, we've we've definitely uh, excelled. Um, not gonna say we're uh, to our standards or Coach G's standards, you know, for that matter. But I, the, the, I guess I can say there's definitely been, a, you know, uh, improvement in that. Um, it's not been big things, you know. It's just been little things, you know. Um, but I could definitely say that uh, I like the way Coach G's been, you know, bringing us on, us, you know, and, and then the young guys, you know. He let us know that, you know, it's, it's things that we can fix, you know, throughout throughout every practice. And I feel like now that we're going to, now that fall camp's over, you know, now that we're going to go into Washington State, I feel like guys got a sense of what they need to do, you know, now it's time to start game plan. What's the biggest thing you feel like you guys have improved on as a group? Where do you feel like you made the most strides? Uh, just starting off vertical. You know that um, when you when you start off with them first two steps vertical, uh, you know everything else just changes. You know, you know you can change the line of scrimmage, you can rush the pass off a of play action. That just 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 having that vertical mindset just changes. It takes away a lot of thinking, uh, especially from a D lineman. You know, because that's where um, that's where the play starts and ends most of the time. How, how important is it for you, you guys to go there and show the last years in the past as a defensive line? Very important. I mean, for the, I mean. It's a it's a stepping point for this team, you know. I mean, it's a first of all, you know, it's a new day, you know. Um, I know we got to do this thing together, but we believe as a defensive front, you know, that we got, you know, that we have to set the tone. Like I said, the play starts with us, and, and believe it or not, it should finish with us. Um, if we, like I said, just starting off vertical, if we set the new line of scrimmage, you know, everything else will take care of itself. But um, um, myself, along with the seniors, along with Coach G, would definitely apply the pressure to us. How hard is that going to be to accomplish when D's out for the first game? Um, not hard. Uh, D's a vocal leader, you know. Uh, of course, of course, he's been here a while, but uh, you know, D's been there, you know, uh, every step of the way, you know, leaning on young guys. And I think we have what three, uh, two other senior ends. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, then we got young guys stepping up, you know, to fill the mold. We definitely got uh, contributing guys, you know, to get to get the task done. The fact that it's been such a physical camp. <clears throat> maybe more physical than the years past. How, how much better does that prepare you for the start of uh, I, So much more better. Uh, just just talking about, you know, mental toughness, uh, physical toughness, you know, getting back to where Auburn was, you know, just having that staple of toughness. Now. You know, and when you, and, when you, and when you want that in practice, you know, guys are going to get banged up, but, you know, guys got to, you know, uh, guys got to bounce back. And, uh, you know, just, just like speaking on D, you know, D a bounce back, guys got to step in and just fit the mold. But, uh Definitely, uh, tough has been a step point, and um, you know it's gonna be times gonna be high, it's gonna be times where games are gonna be tight, and you know that's when going back to fall camp is gonna uh, help us win. Coach Connor's looking for, for playmakers, and, and do you feel like you guys have improved that part of your game? This definitely, fall? definitely. I I wouldn't say we're anywhere close to our you know our, our pinnacle, but uh, definitely been taking strides as a defensive front. Have you guys kind of gotten accustomed <laughs> to Coach G now? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> How hard was that? Uh, we, I, I say this, we all had our downs. But, you know, we, you know, we've, we've had our highs too, but uh, definitely more, definitely more downs than highs. I can tell you that. Tough out of please. Tough out of please. Uh, that's how I would want it. You know, that's how you would want it. Uh, you know, we're going to the main room, and you know, we pretty much know what we messed up on in practice, and we just can't wait to hear it. You know, from Coach G. You know, he never misses anything, but that's what we need. Um, like I say, he brings that toughness and that accountability factor to this game, and. Um, he knows. How different is he when you see him in the meeting room on the field and then you see him with his daughters? Uh, you know, a, a fun-loving guy, you know, um, a fun-loving guy. Uh, I would tell you a story. I don't know, I don't know if I'm uh, – I'll just say this. Uh, he loves his daughters more than he loves his players. Therefore, he's going to coach us even harder because, you know, that's his family, you know, and this is his job. This is how he provides for his family. So he coaches us to a to a T, two hundred percent. You know, uh, I say that. But uh, so I mean, I, I think that speaks for itself. You know, he he works us hard. You know, there's not a down period for us. But at the same time, you know, but he, well, you know, he's been in the SEC what 10, 12 years, so he knows how to get it done. Just talk about facing a team that's going to throw it a bunch in the open or watch the state. I mean, pass rush is obviously mm -hmm. something you guys are focused on. How much are you looking forward to a game like that? Uh, I mean. As a D lineman, I think you know, uh, I think pretty much uh, everyone knows you know, sack you know, sacks equal money makers. But uh, definitely this whole technique of how you know this this, this whole change of defense, you know, starting off vertical, that's that's gonna that's gonna set everything. You know, if it's a one play, you know, we're gonna fit. If it's a pass play, then we gotta work off and pass rush. So uh, definitely can't wait to get out. Now they've got some walk-ons up front. How do you guys approach that? 
uh, approach it the same. Uh, D1 players, D1 players from, from D2 players, you know, they, uh, I guarantee nobody's coming into Jordan here and not expecting to win, so we got to, you know, so we got to have that mindset. How long have you been thinking about Washington State? I know there's other things to distract yourself with and position battles, those sort of things in camp. How long have you been prepping yourself for Washington State? Mm. I, th I just think as a whole, we've been waiting to just get that bad taste out of our mouth. Um, of course, the Iron Bowl, but just the whole past season. So I felt like as soon as the, the schedule went up or as soon as we knew Washington State was that next, you know, that next chance to get out of Jordan Hill, that next chance, of course, to hit somebody else other than our teammates, you know, that's, that's where we draw our energy from, you know. That's that's what we're gonna get our uh, uh, our chance to actually, you know, put that put that Auburn pride on our back. So uh, I just think, uh, you know, maybe not so much Washington State, but uh, just just as a whole, as a team, you know, we just can't wait to just get up, just get that bad taste out of our mouth. Coach Malzahn said the offense uh, had its best rhythm days maybe since he's been back. What did you see in practice from them? Uh, got, I mean, guys were catching balls. You know, guys are making blocks. Um, it's hard to say, you know, I got Coach G, you know, in my ear, <laughs> it's pace. I'm trying to, you know, focus on what I have to, but uh, I, I didn't hear as much as, uh, I didn't I didn't see uh, as much up-downs from the old line as I've seen the day before, so I'm going to say that must have been a good place for is, is the rota rotation set at defensive tackle? You guys uh, have a first team, a second team? Or? Uh, we always had an orange, blue, and white. I don't think there's anything been said. We, you know, we have been rolling in guys. Um, Coach G said he usually wants to use ten guys, five to tackle, five ends. But um, you know, you know, with a team that watched the state, who maybe thought about seventy times. You know, you just never know. But you, you do the ten D lineman. That's what he said he likes to use. What have you seen on Montrevious? Um, just hard nosed guy. You know, um, we we say that he's country strong. Just you know, he, he's a freshman, so he's not. He doesn't have that college build. But you know, he he's throwing around. You know, varsity guys. You know, in a sense. Um, He's just like we all were freshmen, you know, uh, slow mentally, but uh, definitely got us coming along. As demanding as Coach Garner is, when Chuck Smith tells you no soft technique. Say, that? That? say it again, I'm sorry. As demanding as Coach Garner is, when Chuck Smith first told you no soft technique, how'd you react to that? Do you know? uh, I accept it, you know, I ate it up. I know, I know in this league, you know, you have to be tough, both physical and mentally. Um, that's been something that, you know, uh, that we've all had to work on. Uh, um, that's why camp has been so hard. But uh, for me, just, uh, just I just been having to focus, and you know, I just I just been having to have that mental toughness um, on not the field. Um, Coach G always says it's it's hard to uh, live soft and play hard, or live soft and act hard. You know, it's um, it's just one of the mannerism kind of things. But uh, I definitely I definitely uh, learned to kind of flip that switch. Um, you know, when I'm on the field. Dave, yeah, what's the main difference from, from, from you guys from last year? I mean, what's going to make you turn into a unit that's productive and stopping the run? I mean, what's, what's the difference from last Just year? Just that, playing as a unit, playing together. I mean, it's, it's simple to know. we got to have 11 hats to the ball. I know that's, I know that's really going to happen, but, um, you know, if it's a screen, if it's a draw, we all got to draw and we all got to be, you know, we all got to be one. Um, I feel like we're as tight as we've ever been. Um, and like I said, um, as a whole, we just can't wait to get that bad taste out of our mouth, you know. Um, but uh, exactly, you know, just play as one.